السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو آن لائن کلاسز اف اقرا افاظ بائی سیکنڈری اسکولس اینڈ کالجز آ پروجیکٹ اف اقرا ایجوکیشن سسٹم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر بیک ود ار ویڈیو لیکچرس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور ورڈس میننگ اف چیپٹر نمبر فائیو فرام پروس سیکشن چیپٹر نمبر فائیو a visit this is a very interesting chapter and i hope you are going to enjoy this when i explain and summarize this chapter to you people but before that we will go through these keywords with their meanings so that when you are going through the explanation or reading the chapter on your own you should have no problem in understanding new or unfamiliar words let's start with word number one the first word is outing which means a trip taken for pleasure we go for outing in different seasons especially when it is rainy days nowadays so when the weather is cloudy the families go out to enjoy themselves sometimes to recreational parks sometimes to farmhouse or different places so that trip which is taken for pleasure or fun is called outing word number two is farm farm is a is an area of land for growing crops and sometimes for rearing animals so there can be a vegetable farm or an animal farm depending upon what activity is taking place there if crops are being grown there on an area of land then that is called a vegetable farm if animals are being reared on an area of land then this is called animal farm so in general farm is an area of land for growing crops number three model it means something used as an example when we say that this is a model paper so it means that the paper which is used as an example of the annual paper or the annual examination paper so in metric class you people will get through a model paper in the end of the year we will show you a paper that will be similar or as an example of the actual annual examination paper as we did in your ninth class if you remember so model means something used as an example number four agricultural it means relating to agriculture or relating to cultivation number five is harvesting it means gathering a crop when once the crop is reaped cut and then when we gather that crop in sheaves what does sheave mean we are going to discuss this thing later so when the crop is sheaved or tied up in the bundles that is called harvesting number six is sheaves as we discussed right now that sheaves is actually a tight bundle of grain is called a sheaf and sheaves is the plural form of sheaf s-h-e-a-f sheaf is a singular form and s-h-e-a-v-e-s sheaves is a plural form which means tied bundles of grain number seven is sweep which means smooth move this is a noun over here and this word sweep has been used as a noun in the chapter otherwise if we take it as a verb it means to sweep the floor with a brush or a broom so the noun sweep means a smooth move with a brush or a broom number eight keen you people have already gone through this word keen a couple of times probably in your last chapters keen means eager or passionate or desirous this is adjective here we can say i have keen interest it means i have eager interest i have passionate e interest or i have desirous interest in fact the word keen can also be used as 
very but as an adjective we take it in the meaning of eager or passionate or desirous i am keen i am keen to learn english i am keen to learn how to play cricket i am keen to learn how to do swimming so on and so forth number 9 is plowing plowing means cultivating or in simple words turning up soil uh, you must have seen farmers turning up soil before seeding it or before putting the seed into the soil so the soil is turned up and down to make it favorable before seeding so that activity is called plowing number 10 is seeding which means putting seed into soil number 11 threshing it means separating grain from crop number 12 quintal it is a unit of weight which is equal to 100 kg and then number 13 is hectare it is a unit of measure which is equal to 2.4 acres number 14 is sowing sowing is a synonym for seeding so planting a seed into soil or putting a seed into soil is called sowing or seeding both so seeding and sowing are synonyms to each other they have the similar meaning number 15 is fertilizer fertilizer is actually a chemical substance which is added to the soil to increase its fertility to increase the growth of the crop number 16 enrich this is a verb and it means to improve or to enhance number 17 canal which means an artificial waterway for irrigation number 18 irrigate it means to supply water to crops number 19 insecticides substance used for killing insects for killing such insects that destroy the crops number 20th orchard it means an area of land planted with trees number 21 plentiful it means abundant or large or great number 22 supply which means an act of providing something or in simple words provision 23 delight which means great pleasure number 24 delicious it means tasty or mouth watering something which is delicious it means that is tasty or mouth watering your mouth is filled with water having a glance of that thing is called delicious number 25 weed weed is actually a wild plant which is grown unnecessarily or in simple words you can say a wild plant which grows where it is not needed number 26 pests pest actually is a destructive insect which attacks crops and restricts the crops from growing up in fact it destroys the whole crop that insect is called pest number 27 preserve which means to maintain or to protect or to save number 28 dairy all the products of milk or made of milk are called dairy and in fact eggs which are not made of milk are also called dairy so this is why a milk shop is also called a dairy shop where you find milk or milk products or eggs so any shop that sells 
such products of milk eggs and milk itself is called dairy and things or products which are made out of milk are also called dairy number 29 cheer this is the past form of cheer which means to shout for joy or with pleasure so here cheer means shouted for joy or with pleasure the last word number 30th is establish it means to set up to start or to launch or to begin so establish means to set up something so my dear brothers that's all for today in this video lecture we went through some unfamiliar or new words with their meaning in chapter number 5 a visit tomorrow inshallah if circumstances are in favor and it does not rain inshallah we will upload another video on summary and explanation of chapter number 5 a visit till then take very good care of yourselves assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh